Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Northrop B2 Spirit also known as a stealth bomber is America's heavy strategic bomber featuring low observable stealth technology designed for penetrating anti-aircraft defenses. It is a subsonic bomber with a flying wing design and can deploy both conventional and thermonuclear weapons such as AT 500 pound class MK82 JDAM GPS carry bombs or 16 2400 pounds B83 nuclear bombs. It has a massive range of nearly 11,000 kilometers and manned by two crew members. The aircraft has been designed to have advanced stealth features and to remain undetected in enemy's radar. A stealth measured using radar cross section is something which is determined by various factors such as size, angle and ages of the object and material used. An insect for example has a radar cross section of just 0.001 meter square and a bird has a RCS of 0.01 meter square. However, the US Air Force B-2 bombers have the massive wingspan of 172 feet is having RCS between 0.75 to 0.05 meter square which is pretty impressive for this size of bomber. Now this capability of B-2 makes it unique and only aircraft or bomber that can carry large payload of air to surface standoff weapons in an stealth configuration. The United States is also working on an advanced version of B-2 Spirit, which is known as B-2-1 Raider, being developed to replace US Air Force aging bomber fleet. It will complement the existing Rockwell B-1 Lancer, Northrop B-2 Spirit and Boeing B-52 bomber fleets, which is in service with USA. Designed to be a long-range, highly survivable and capable of carrying a mix of conventional and nuclear ordnance, the B-21 will join the nuclear triad of USA. Currently, only 10% of America's bomber fleet is capable of penetrating the advanced air defenses of adversaries. The B-21 will allow greater payload capacity, range and penetration capability than the existing fleet of America's B-1 and B-52 bombers. It will also use Lockheed Martin's avionics, apertures and some of the sensors which are in use in F-35. The B-21 will be capable of flying with a payload of up to 13,607 kg. A large part of it will be internal fuel and remaining would be bombs and missiles. The B-21 aircraft will be smaller in size when we compare it with existing B-2 Spirit bombers. While the small size reduces its payload capacity, it further improves the stealth characteristics of the aircraft. While the precise width of B-21 is classified, however, some comparison shows it to be around 150 feet, approximately 50% less than B-2. The maximum payload of B-2 is also around 50,000 pounds and that of B-21 is expected to be 30,000 pounds. From the initial look, the B-2 Spirit and B-2 Bomber looks almost identical in appearance. Recently, two new images of B-2 Raider has been released by US Air Force. The first image is a detailed close-up of B-2-1's nose and cockpit section which you can see on your screen and second one provides a good view of the aircraft. B-2-1 will be world's most technically sophisticated aircraft capable of carrying non-stop strike anywhere in the world with the help of aerial refueling. The report states that B-21 could fly 2,500 miles or 4,000 kilometers without refueling. The US Air Force has stated plans to acquire at least 100 such aircraft and some defense analysts believe that Air Force should purchase at least 200 B-21s. At present, six B-21s are being manufactured. First of these bombers have been moved to calibration facility in March 2022. Air Force has announced that they expect first flight of B-21 in 2023. The B-21s are expected to achieve an initial operational clearance by 2030 and full combat ready by 2035 with each 
of them estimated to cost around $550 million. The cost of bomber could further go high, factoring in the research and developmental cost that could make jets considerably more expensive. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.